Hi everybody. So we've made it through Thanksgiving. Uh, we're cruising through the Christmas holidays, but right around the corner is New Year's. And what goes with New Year's? New Year's resolutions. So uh, let's start thinking about that resolution right now, but you don't have to wait till New Year's to do it. If you're wanting to make a change in your lifestyle, you can start now, beat the rush. So whether you're an existing patient that needs a little tune-up, whether you're a prospective patient that really just needs that little nudge to pull the trigger to get in and get started on the process, start thinking about that early. Um, it is not uncommon for us to see people that come in the day after Christmas and say, hey, I've decided I want weight loss surgery. Can I have it before the beginning of the year because I've met my deductible? Well, let me tell you, that's not possible. Uh, it takes several weeks to get things through an insurance process, through the workup process, getting your cardiac clearances, getting your nutritional evals, getting psych evals if they're required or needed or, or help us. So beat the rush, come early, get started on that New Year's resolution. Don't wait till January to do that. Uh, but if you are gonna wait till January to do that, if you're an existing patient, I have some suggestions for your resolution. Number one, if you're struggling with your weight, start journaling. If you write it down, or you enter it in your Berry-tastic app, which you can download, you're more likely to stick with it than if you just depend on doing the right thing every time. When we hold ourselves accountable, we do better. And I see this all the time, patients that'll hit a, a, a plateau or a roadblock or whatever, and they're just struggling. And I'm eating all the right things, doctor. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, and I'm just not losing weight, and we'll, Either if you're a literary writing person, keep a journal, or most of us are more app driven these days. So we use that very tastic app that has food plans on it, nutritional advice, support, but it also has a journal of diet and activity. It isn't just about what you're putting in, it's also what you're burning. We know that cardio isn't the end all be all. We like you to get at least three days of cardio in, you know, at least 30 minutes or more of cardio three days a week. But we also know that some resistance is important, important too. As we age, we tend to lose our, our deltoids are the first thing that goes among other things. So by doing some resistance, you know, even if it's light resistance, at least two or three days a week, then we can preserve that muscle mass and when we're preserving muscle mass and we're eating the right things, we're burning that fat, right? So we have to drive our bodies to burn that fat by burning those calories, getting adequate protein, avoiding fatty and starchy and sugary foods, and muscle toning. You do that, not only do you burn the fat, but you feel better. Exercise makes us feel better. So if I'm picking your New Year's resolution for you, Two things, journal, exercise, or both, okay? You don't have to limit that to one. Uh, other things, obviously you're smoking, that's a terrible idea anyway, that needs to stop immediately. Um, and avoid substituting bad behaviors. Uh, the holidays are very, very dangerous to our bariatric patients because there are multiple opportunities for us to get off of our chosen path. When we're in a routine, we do great. We're creatures of habit. We have that routine down. But holidays disrupt our routines. They interrupt the work week. They force you to interact with relatives who you may or may not want to interact with. You know, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. So all of us have that one relative that, oh God, here they come again. Uh, just get over it. Don't let them cause you to alter your behavior no matter how despicable they are. Um, what else can we do for New Year's resolutions? Uh, I'm gonna say be kind. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your friends. Be kind to us in the office. We need it, okay? Uh, everyone gets frustrated over the holidays because the office may be closed a day that would be your normal day to come in. Uh, work with us on that. You know, we're, we're trying to get through these holidays too. It's a very busy time of year for us and we want to accommodate as many people as we can. Uh, so, um, exercise, journal, kindness, have fun. Have fun for the new year. Make this new year the best year yet for you and your weight loss journey and your journey towards health. Thanks everybody.